Welcome back to another episode of Movement Monday, where we tackle everything from your relationship to yourself, your relationship to others, and your relationship to your purpose and your craft, so you can keep moving forward. My name is Matthew Cook, and I am so excited to be bringing this to you today. And there's some real irony in today's episode because I'm obviously using technology as a means of being able to speak with you today. And the interesting thing is, and it's such a subtle shift, but something that has had a, such a profound transformational effect on all of my clients is this one simple principle, is that we want to slow down the mind. And the reason that is, and this is an obvious one, right? It's like, we want to slow down the mind, yeah. So we want to slow down the mind because technology slows down our body and speeds up our mind, right? So in all of my work with my clients, it's about balancing out, it's about leveling out the amount of stimulation that our mind is getting with the amount of stimulation that our body's getting. So I'm gonna give you a really brief visual is we want the body, uh, excuse me, the mind that's way up here, we want the mind to be slowed down as we stimulate the body ever so slightly. And so for me, it's not about vigorous, high intensity interval training or any of that kind of stuff. It's about simply bringing more introception, more proprioception, the ability for me to perceive my intro, internal experience more, and to be more aware of that rhythm and pattern that my body runs through throughout the day so that I can honor that, so that I can actually use that information that is being given to me so intelligently from my body. So that's it for this Movement Monday. It's very clear, very simple as instead of working with technology, I don't wanna say work against it, but work to even out and balance out the amount of stimulation that your body is getting versus what your mind is getting. So again, we want to speed up to stimulate the body as we slow down the mind so that they become on an even playing field so that there can truly be information passed back and forth. You have such an incredibly intelligent mind and body. Your body itself is, is 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 constantly communicating through the nervous system through your hormones and through the fascial tissue through the connective tissue electrical impulses are being sent every millisecond sending you valuable information and the question is are you catching that information so with that super excited for you today so really simple way of applying this is every morning when i wake up i do the six movements of the spine and the reason i have three is because some of them are repeats so flexion and extension of the spine. So I guess this is actually extension, flexion of the spine. So it's just, it's bending as far back as possible and it's bending as far forward as possible. So we're just starting to move the information up and down the channel highway of the nervous system and the spine. The other is twisting from side to side. So again, that's four then there. And then the final one is lateral bending. So opening up through the sides of the body. So doing a C curve with your body in either direction. And that's a really simple way to just start to break up and build up the, I should say break up the disconnection and build up the connection in that relationship between your body and your mind. So with that, that's your Movement Monday for this week. Have an incredible week. And I'll talk to you soon. Keep moving forward.